but she was 21 back here on the starting line. JP, 21 on the tree. one of the McPhillips rides operation with Miss Jasmine Salinas. You're the defending champion in the North Central region, but this year, 2023, has not started out in the way I wish you wish it had. But you've got an opportunity to take out the national points leader in Julie Natus. Can you do it? Uh, you know, I have all the faith in my team. Um, we've been struggling a bit this year. Um, it's not the way we want to start, but I know what we're capable of. And honestly, like at this point, We've got nothing to lose. Julia has everything to lose in this race, so we'll see what happens.
Oscar takes out Golly. Golly can cruise three hundredths of a second. Randy Meyer, Samsels have blinked. The McPhillips have blinked. You have yet to blink. So far, a good day for Randy Meyer Racing. It's been a good day so far. It's been a pretty good weekend. We've been trying some new stuff, and <clears throat> some of us working, some of us coming around. But, uh, you know, I, I don't mind running in the heat like this. It kind of seems to work better for my combination. So we're looking forward to hopefully a great day the rest of the day. Max Barron's on the starting line. Randy Greco, his car. Coming to life. In this round, this is, as Mr. Bader said, this is your David versus Joe Randy. Another round out of the hat against Randy Barber Racing. The Bartone Brothers Pirate Ship sailed to a low ET of the meet for the floppers in round one. We were all expecting that last night, though you had the number one qualifying effort. Where did that come from? Uh, it really had it last night, and it just a couple of things happened where it slowed the car down a little bit. So it was there last night, and uh, Steve and the boys, they, uh, they looked at the track and said, you know what, I think we can go after it again. So that's what they did, and man, it was aggressive, front end up, carrying, the, carrying it out there a long way. It was a lot of fun to drive. So, uh, you know, we got DJ next, and man, he's tough. So we, it's not like we can let up now. So uh, going to be a great semifinal. I'm excited for the Killer Bees, the boys, and uh, the sponsors, and uh, what a great racetrack, great facility, great fans, and uh, hopefully come away with a win today. Sean Bellamere, we can officially say, and congratulations, as of right now, you're the points leader. Does that mean anything this early on, though, in the year? You know, I, I mean, from a confidence standpoint, of course, and, and, you know, anybody that says they're not looking, they're lying to you, they're looking. But what we know is that around the country, guys are winning races, and so we got to keep racing, uh, winning races, too. So... Yeah, you know what I do like is the fact that the people around us know that, so they know they got to come with everything they got. Maybe make a mistake, put a little pressure on them. So, uh, you know, I think there's maybe a little subliminal uh, something there. So, uh, I, I like it, and uh, hopefully in November you're telling me the same thing. That's what really matters.
Nick Janet going into a final round with an opportunity to win for the first time here in 2023. Going up against Sean Bellamere. Y'all could have got this done on the other side of the Mississippi, man. Yeah, we, we struggled all year long, but, you know, we ran that 40 last night. And, I mean, that was like running a national event. I haven't ran in the 40s in a couple years, and just it's just been struggle. So I finally get in the car coming around. We a couple numbers off Sean, so we're going to try some things in the final and see if we can get a little closer to him and see what we can do. But uh, couldn't do this without uh, Red Line Oil. I mean, they're awesome. NGK, Carrillo Pistons, uh, CP Pistons. Uh, and uh, Torco Race Fields. I mean, all these guys support us big time and got one car in the final out of four, so we're hoping to do, do a little better than the other ones, but we're, we're getting there. The misfortune of one competitor is the fortune of another, but the competitors out here in Top Alcohol, Funny Car, Sean Bellamere, certainly don't want you being lucky, but you got the win line anyway in the semifinals. Yeah, you know, it was, it was a bummer for DJ Cox. I mean, I guess they broke a main cap or something on the block, and for whatever reason couldn't get it fixed so uh dj i mean being a good friend and, and sportsman he came over and told us he said hey i'm broke he came over early go try something so i told steve steve got that look in his eye and we actually tried something there car slowed down a little bit but boy did we learn and so that was really uh really a big deal for us um good run killer bees are doing their thing you know racing janik in the final i mean he's no dummy uh or uh, no stranger to the uh, to the winner circle so we got to be on our game he's a uh, a couple of West Coast guys shooting it out for the final. It'll be a lot of fun. fitting question when you win at Norwalk as Sean Bellamere has just done in top alcohol funny car competition is what's your favorite flavor of ice cream here oh it's moose tracks I mean as you can see I've had a lot of it so yeah it's a what a great day in Norwalk the track was phenomenal Steve had that look in his eyes so you knew the thing was going to be fast and uh, basically left it up to me to drive it right fortunately I had my game together today and we drove it right the killer bees did their normal phenomenal job and uh, this thing is a rocket right now. Steve has really kind of found something, and uh, all we really got to do is contain it, get me to drive it right, and uh, this thing's going to be fast. But uh, great final round. A couple of West Coast guys having at it. We actually had some fun down at the top end talking about that. So um, great day for the Killer Bees. I'm proud of the team. Steve Tunin, Tony Onan, the guys. It's just uh, uh, it's a pleasure to be a part of this thing. This team's next event. Uh, right back here in a couple weeks at the national event. And that's uh, that was sort of the game plan going in here is get a tune-up for, for the national event, you know. And uh, uh, basically the only thing that's going to change is the weather. And we'll just, uh, we'll see. And, you know, like we talked earlier, we had that buy run in the semis and we tried something which was actually a little bit of preparation for the national event. So um, I'm excited about what we found. That actually contributed a little bit to why the thing ran so good in the final. So, um, you know, we're going to keep trudging forward. The national event's going to be a dogfight. Gordon's coming, and Janik's coming, and uh, Makash, and Gil, and DJ, and all. It's going to be a dogfight and alcohol funny car. Boy, it's going to be a lot of fun. The Randy Meyer Racing test car and the test driver making a final round. Matt Sackman, did you think you'd be going to a final this weekend? Uh, I figured uh, after the first couple of runs, it made some good, decent runs, and uh, I figured we'd go a couple of rounds today for sure. So it, it uh, feels good to turn the wind light on. Julie Natus is going to a final round once again in 2023 here at the Cavalcade of Stars. you got a teammate in the final round. It has to give you a whole lot of confidence that you drive with a team that can get two cars all the way to the final round. Absolutely. Um, both cars are running great right now. We've struggled a little bit with the other car, which is why it's out there this weekend. It's going down the racetrack, and I know for a fact that Matt and every time I race my teammate, it's going to be a hard round to win. So I'm excited for it.
last time we spoke with Julie Natus in the victory lane, it was a Texas two-step, and she continues to win here in 2023 at Norwalk, Ohio, in the Calvacate of Stars, and she certainly star in Top Alcohol Dragster. Solid win today. Yeah, we needed that win. Um, every point counts and matters for that championship, so we're here to chase, chase it, and we needed it, and we did it, and I'm proud of all my guys for doing that again. Norwalk, Ohio, famous for ice cream, so what's the favorite flavor at the track where you win a scoop? Unfortunately, I've never had ice cream here before because I'm um, lactose. If they had dairy-free ice cream or lactose-free, sure, I would try, but I've never had ice cream here.